What's up guys, and welcome to another episode of Off-Road Outlaws. We are going to be going over the concepts of building a map. And we're going to be showing you what each button does, and we're going to be going in-depth in most of it, so let's go ahead and get this started. So when you're on the main screen, you want to click play in the bottom right hand corner. Now you can either hit single player or multiplayer, but I'm going to hit single player just for this video. Custom maps will pop up. Now custom maps will pop up for, I believe, everybody, but the only people who can design the maps are the members. So I guess it's for you members only and for future map designers that aren't members. When you click on it, there's going to be a button in the top right hand corner that says create map. You're going to hit that button. It takes a little bit for it to load, so. Okay, so once you're in here, let's see if I can move this out of the way. You're going to look at the right side. It says generate terrain, which means we're on the first option. And I'm going to go ahead and hit advanced. Speed, if you look at how fast I move, like that, I'm going to turn it up. Should be a lot faster. And then landscape size, I'm going to turn that all the way up. I'm going to turn bumps all the way down, just for right now. This video, this uh, map, I'm not going to be saving. This map is just for this tutorial. Now there's tree density only by the edges. We're going to turn that up so that way we're actually going to take it off the edges. And we're going to go and hit dirt. I haven't made a dirt map, so we're going to enable water. And... We're going to generate the terrain. Okay, if you notice, it looks to be like the water is on top of the dirt. So, we're going to lower that water. There we go. It's underneath it. And now we can see all the dirt. So we're going to go to Modify Terrain. When you look at Modify Terrain, there's Raise, Lower, Flatten, Paint, Add Objects, and Cut Objects. We're going to go ahead and go to Add. No, we're going to go to Cut Objects. I'm going to do Cutting Power. And for the sake of it, we're just going to remove this small group of trees right here. You can preview before you do it, so, and you can also change the way you cut, so, let's go to the middle, like that, I'm just going to go back to this, remove those, I'm going to apply, so now those trees right there are gone, I'm going to remove a big path real quick, there we go. There's add objects, and add objects you have trees, rocks, logs, and construction. And then there's also density. So we're going to go to rocks. We're going to hit a spot right here. Fill this whole thing up with rocks. I'm not going to preview it, I'm just going to apply. And now you can apply in the same spot over and over if you want. But there's really no point unless you feel like filling up the whole map with those. But I don't think you can change them. Okay, here's paint. We're going to go put some, put a snow on here. going to change it to this so that way we can drive straight. Apply. Okay, here's flatten. Now I have no bumps on here, so we're going to go raise circle, make the circle small, 
and bring it over here. Apply. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to apply one that's not as tall. Then I'm going to go to flatten. Apply. And that just flattens the top of it so it's not as round. Then we're going to go to lower. Okay, sorry about that. Um, the game messed up. So, well actually no, the game didn't mess up. I had to exit out. And it didn't save the map. So we're going to have to redo this again. This time we're going to do something different. Didn't mean to hit generate random terrain, but I guess that helped me. Okay, we're going to go to modify. We're going to go back and we're going to raise some stuff. We're going to go to flatten. We're going to flatten it. Then we're going to lower just a little hole into it. And there's your water hole. <laughs> okay, that's just showing how you can raise and lower stuff. We're going to paint it with snow real quick just because I want to. Apply. There we go. And then, let's see. There's place objects. We're going to, I'm not going to show you how to build roads today. It'll be a different day if y'all want to see how to build roads. All that you do is just place them down and they connect to each other. Same with the bridges. We're going to place some rocks. I actually want this rock. Now, I'm going to, if I place the rock down, and then you move it, it's going to move. It's going to be, you know, sticking out like that. But if you don't want it like that, you want it laying against the edge of it, hit align by slope, then you move it, and it goes like that. So we're going to duplicate this, and I'm going to fast forward through it, and I'll be back with you. Okay, now that we have this done, we're just going to look around it real quick. Okay, it looks pretty good. Seems to be even with the uh, dirt. Okay, we're going to go to Apply Object. And we're going to grab a big rock. And just set it in the middle of the hole. But not just any big rock. It has to be like a certain look. Maybe this one. We'll lift the rock. We'll pull the size out. Move it. Now I still have it on a line by slope. So it's going to be acting a little weird. There we go. There's that. Now we're going to go to add some mud. When you go to add mud, there is mud depth and viscosity. <clears throat> Generally, everyone who plays likes, you know, deep mud. So I usually turn my mud up all the way. So before you do that, you have to double tap and place one. And then you can drag your bars around. 
Vacosity is about how strong the mud is. So say you turn it all the way down and it's like you're not even driving through mud and you're still on normal grass. You turn it all the way up and it makes the mud extremely sticky and your vehicle becomes really slow. We're going to make a square as big as we can. We're just going to place it there. Now we're going to go with all the stuff that I just showed you. I'm going to place some roads, maybe two or three roads and a bridge. Okay, we're just gonna test this out real quick. Start trial. Oh, was I supposed to get that check on it? Okay, now that you've learned how to make, how to place down most of your objects, 
When you go to finalize map, you have to have at least eight spawn points to finalize your map. So what we're going to do here is we're going to place a bunch of them this facing towards the thing that we just built. Now remember, when you're placing one of these, whichever way you are facing on the screen is the way that you're going to spawn. I'm going to go back to finalize map, and I have 9 out of 8. We're going to name this map Oop Test Map. Alright, now that we've created the map, we're going to go to multiplayer and we're going to test the map that we have created online. So we're going to go to custom maps and there's an option up here that says my maps. You're going to hit that and there's the map I just made. Map made for YouTube tutorial. Test map. We're going to hit the star on the left. So that way it'll be in your favorites. So when you hit your favorite section, there will always be maps in there that you have favorited. We're going to go back to my maps. We're going to click on this one. And when you click on it, when you click on your map and you look at the very top, it says edit map. You're able to re-edit your map anytime you want and update it back to for everybody else to use. But we're not going to do that right now because we've already created it and we're just going to go inside the map and play it. Okay, now that we're inside of our map and we have our trailer I'm going to go ahead and switch vehicles. I'm going to attach trailer. Turn the volume down because that truck's really loud. I'm going to flip my trailer back over real quick. Okay, so here's the map that we made. And now anybody is able to come in here and join and play. So they just need to know the name of your map and then they can type it in, favorite it, and they can play on it. That's gonna be it for today's video of how to make a map. Please be sure to like and subscribe and turn post notifications on.